we look back at the continent of Africa. A continent whose population has doubled, if not tripled. We are going to celebrate wonders that remain in Africa and show what needs to be preserved. Places that ensure people and nature thrive. Kenya still has sanctuaries. And regularly, they hold spectacular gatherings of wildlife. They provide vital spaces. percentage of Kenya's landscape is covered by drylands. A good example is Savo. These drylands may appear barren and empty, but they are vital to life. They provide a crucial refuge to those that withstand their harshness. The red elephants emerging from a nearby bushland. It is the scattered water points that have brought them here. And they have come in numbers, several herds of them. They have come because here they can safely have a drink. Elephants live in a herd of females and calves. Each herd is led by a matriarch, the oldest member of the family. Availability of water can be a challenge in this semi-desert area and for an elephant to sustain its huge size it must drink a lot of water. An African elephant drinks up to 50 gallons of water and 100 kilograms of food. They have pushed other animals away from the springs to drink enough. quenching their thirst, they splash water and soil on their bodies to cool off and protect their skins against sun rays. It is the reason why elephants of Savo East and West National Parks are called red elephants. The red soil changes their appearance, but in essence, they have the same color as other elephants. They walk in groups 
protecting their young ones. These bushes are full of monsters. Her arrival at these water points sends shivers down the spine of other animals. They are alert and ready to run. And this complicates matters for this female lion. Today, this place will only provide her with water. Potential prey are at a lot and with too much space to run into. The lion has no advantage. She walks away, but she'll be back. For these impalas, it's time to graze again. Danger has been averted.